okay let's discuss the central force again like uh, in the definition of central force uh, we define the central force like uh, the force which is always directed towards a, a way a common point like we have a common point and the force is always directed towards towards a, a way a common point then and has the following properties like number one force is directed towards a away a common point force is directed towards a away a common point and the magnitude of force depends only on distance r the magnitude of force depends only uh, the magnitude of force is a function of the distance r from this fixed point to the another point let's say m if these two conditions if a force of obey these two conditions then the force is said to be central force and we also discuss few properties of the central force the first property is that the central force field is conservative field conservative field or in other words the total energy of a particle in a central force field is always constant the second property is the angular momentum of the system is also conservative or the angular momentum is of the system in a central force field is also constant and the third property is the path of the particle must be plane curve the path must be a plane curve and we also discuss the plane polar coordinate systems and in plane polar coordinate system we derive two relation one is for the velocity which is r dot r unit vector plus r theta dot into theta unit vector and we also calculate the relation for the acceleration which is r double dot minus r theta dot square into r unit vector plus Two r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot into theta unit vector. Let's say this is equation one and this is equation two. And also from this relation we calculate the radial component of the velocity which is r dot. The tangential component of the velocity which is v of theta which is r the tangential component of velocity v of theta which is r theta dot similarly the radial component of acceleration is a of r which is r double dot minus r theta dot and the tangential component of acceleration is 2 r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot suppose this is equation 3 this is 4, this is 5 and this is 6. Now from this tangential component of acceleration uh, we study tangential component of acceleration more carefully. The tangential component of acceleration is a of theta is equal to 2 or dot theta dot plus r theta double dot. Uh, this can be written as 1 over r d over dt of r square theta dot if we expand this then we can get this relation again for example 1 over r d over dr of r square theta dot is equal to 1 over r d r square over dr into theta dot plus 1 over r r square 
d theta dot over dt which is 1 over r and from this we get 2r and we have 1 over r dot sorry Two R into R dot R double dot one over R sorry two R and then dr or dt this is dr or dt yeah so we have this one over R differential of the first into second plus one over R first into differential of the second so this is one over R two R and then R double dot plus 1 over r r square theta double dot r cancel with this one and we have and then we have two r dot double dot two r dot theta dot yes so we have two r dot theta dot and then we have theta dot now we can write it as like this if we expand this equation okay 1 over r and we have d over dt of r square theta dot which is equal to 1 over r and we have d r square over dt and we have theta dot plus r square d theta dot over dt so from this 1 over r and from this we have 2 r into r dot theta dot plus r square theta double dot if this r cancel with this and this so we have 2 r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot so this is again same expression now velocity has two components one is vr the radial component and the other one is the tangential component uh, suppose we have a particle moving from this point to this point this is the radius r then velocity has two component one is vr and one is v theta this one so both v r and t v theta are perpendicular to each other like v r is perpendicular to v of theta because the angle here is 90 degree now the angular momentum l can be defined as r cross p but p is itself m times velocity and velocity can be written as r dot so instead of p we will replace this one so l is equal to mass is a constant so we can keep it out we have r cross r dot or in other word p is equal to l is equal to r cross m into v uh, this is equal to m into r cross v now velocity is given by velocity is given by this relation r dot into r unit vector equation number 1 using equation 1 here we have L is equal to M into R cross velocity for the velocity we will replace this by this so we have R dot into R unit vector plus R theta dot into theta unit vector now here we have M we have into r cross r dot into r unit vector plus r 
cross r theta dot into theta unit beta. These are scalars. These are dot is scalar. This r is scalar. Theta dot is scalar. So we can keep it outside. So here we have m, and we have r dot r cross r unit beta plus we have this r theta dot they are scalar they are just numbers so we can keep it outside and we left with r cross theta now from this we can get m is equal to also r unit vector or r vector can be written as its magnitude times its direction r unit vector so m is equal to r dot n2 for r i will replace by r into r unit vector but r is scalar so we can keep it outside so here we left with r unit vector cross r unit vector plus r theta dot and we have again this r is replaced by this this vector so here we this r is a number so we can keep it outside and we left here with r unit vector cross theta unit vector now in plane polar coordinate systems we define the situation like this this is the r vector and this is theta vector so r unit vector is this and theta unit vector is this so r unit vector is perpendicular to theta unit vector so it means that r cross r is zero because the angle is between this vector and again this vector is zero so r cross is r is r into r into sine theta and theta is zero so we get a zero and r cross theta is one it is one so we get but mass is replaced by effective mass or reduced mass so we replace mass by reduced mass m mu so we have mu this factor is zero now and we left with r square theta dot so this is the magnitude of angular momentum our magnitude of our angular momentum is mu r square theta dot now and the okay this is enough in this video in the next video we will move forward from this equation thank you